Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Them Bulls. So as you guys know, the Bulls have made it official by going out and hiring a new top executive, Arturis Karnasovic, to have full authority over basketball decisions moving forward. And I don't know about you guys, but this news is huge. Not only did the Bulls go outside of their circle to hire someone new, but the days of having guard packs and any type of say-so regarding the Chicago Bulls might be over. But let's quickly back up. If you guys do not know who Arturis Karnasovic is and why he was the best option for the Chicago Bulls out of the people they interviewed, then let me explain. So Karnasovic is from the Denver Nuggets and he also spent some time in Houston with the Rockets. With Denver, he had a big role into getting Jokic and that team has brought in a lot of talent over the years. He also had a hand in orchestrating that trade that the Bulls did in 2014 when the Bulls sent Denver, Gary Harris, and Yusef Nurkic for for Doug McDermott, but let's not talk about that. When you look at Karnasovic and what the organization was able to do in Denver, build their young core, go out and get the right pieces and become a top team in the West, the Bulls desperately needed his help. I really want Karnasovic to help make Chicago a respectable organization again. The great thing about getting this guy is that he doesn't come with any drama. There isn't anything attached to him other than he is well respected around the league and that he did a lot to help Denver become a great team. The Gar Pax cloud has been hanging over the Chicago Bulls long enough. And because of them, players and even coaches have been turned off on the idea of wanting to come here. Now, obviously bringing in one man for this job is not going to solve everything, but it is a start. He has full authority to do whatever he wants and he will be looking for a new GM, hopefully. But with the hiring of Karnasovic, what does this mean for the future of Gar Pax? I have been reading reports that Paxson is actually really tired and that he is willing to do whatever the Bulls want him to do meaning that he will either step down or step into an advisory role with the Chicago Bulls. Paxson is really fed up with his name being attached to guard because he really felt like he did more for this organization and you know which is his opinion but if he doesn't step down I'm not sure if Paxson is waiting to be fired so we should see what actually happens. And then you have guard Foreman left and with him I can really see him being fired. Like there isn't any story behind him. Our tourist Karnasovic will most likely hire a new GM and with hiring a new GM hopefully we would get some more diversity up in the front office. Not only did the Bulls make headlines for hiring a new top executive but they also made headlines for not interviewing anybody black or people of color for this new top executive role. And I know a lot of people have basically like just blew this off and said that you know a lot of people are making a big deal out of it but it is actually crazy when you think about it that no person of color was actually interviewed for this role. Mark Spears from ESPN had put out a piece about the Chicago Bulls not going out and interviewing anybody of color and it basically snowballed from there. There was a list of black GMs that the Bulls could have interviewed that I saw floating around on Twitter and while that list is great, the Bulls were not going to hire an assistant GM for the top executive job. I also wanted to make sure I included in this video that Vincent Goodwill recently put out a report who works for Yahoo Sports that the Bulls tried to interview Trey Weaver who was from Oklahoma City but they were denied permission and also Bobby Webster who is Japanese American who is with Toronto they also were denied permission to interview him too. What will most likely happen from this is that Arturis Karnasovic will go out and make his front office more diverse. Maybe hire a black or a person of color for the GM hire a black coach and just add people who are younger. It do seem like even when the Bulls do something really good they still end up in the media for something negative. So that is it for this video. Let me know all of your opinions below. What do you guys think about this new hire Arturis Karnasovic? His name is very hard to say so hopefully a nickname will come out for him because trying to say his name in this video so many times is actually really hard. And I don't know about you guys but it did seem like this process moved very fast even though news came out that the Bulls were looking for a top executive since the All-Star break it still seemed like it just really happened really quick. And also let me know your thoughts and your opinions about the Bulls not interviewing any black people or any person of color. I want to hear your unfiltered opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are staying safe and healthy and washing your hands and I will see you guys in my next video.